I feel like accomplished and like I'm proud of myself because I would never think, four years ago I would never think I could do this stuff, but now I can. Electrical wiring, I can do it. I know I can do it, you know, but, but these kids can. It was exciting and it was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we did that. There's so many programs out there focused on science, technology, engineering, and math. So many. But how do you create such a reactive uh, uh, experience, an impressionable experience for kids that you know they'll never forget? Yeah, we might have kids build a robot. Will they forget it? Maybe, maybe not. Have kids build a car faster than a Ferrari? They'll never forget it. When they turn on the engine, it just made me feel like, yes, I did it and I accomplished it. And, and students need more empowering activities in their lives where they can say, I did this. And how cool is that, you know, for a kid to say, I built something that's faster than a Ferrari. It's the coolest thing ever to have kids as young as eight years old come together as a team and build a supercar. This one is supposed to be the until it stops. And then to take it to the next step because I didn't say I just want kids to build it. I wanted to do something with it. And I said, well, how can I prove a point? How can I prove the potential of young people and what they can do? I said, you know what, let's race a jet. I think one of the great things about building this car um, is that more people will be able to see it. This is a car that we'll be able to drive to schools. Uh, this is a car that we'll be able to uh, take anywhere and inspire people much easier than an airplane. We're going to gas it up now and see what happens. My goal from doing projects such as building planes and building cars is to replicate them in schools and organizations that are seeking to do complex STEM projects, but they don't know how to do it. Creating those type of partnerships where we can come in and create a dynamic experience and resurrect in some cases those programs with a real purpose. Math and science means a lot more than just math and science. Now it means potentially career, means like having fun because I really enjoy working with cars and airplanes and things like that. The weight, the weight of this car is... Now for the race itself, it's very strategic. Students really had to figure out from a uh, mathematical standpoint, what types of speeds would I need to maintain with the course we designed in order to have a shot? Um, Percentage-wise, I think I only have a 30% a of winning, 30% chance of winning. But that, that's honestly, that's, that's the highest percentage I think I've had of doing anything. So I'm, I'm honestly optimistic about the results of it.